Hello everybody, my name is John, also known as the Italian Pac-Man. Um, today is Sunday evening, uh, while I'm doing this, uh, you guys probably won't see it until later tonight, probably tomorrow morning. Um, I'm bringing you guys my gameplay of a shotgun, of the USAS shotgun. I'm going to start um, a series called Shotgun Sundays. Um, every Sunday I'll end up be, post, uh, be posting a shotgun gameplay. Um, this, I like this gameplay in particular because I run around and get a lot of kills, but at the same time I'm helping to support my team with UAV and counter UAVs. Um, I know it's not uh, cool because I'm running around with support kill streaks, but at the same time I'm not dying a bunch of times so I'm not like camping in a corner and going 50 and 60 and still getting support kill streaks 50 times in the game, but I'm actually going on kill streaks. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about. Uh, what I want to talk about is my Black Ops 2 wish list. Uh, for Black Ops, Black Ops, I love the game to death. Um, played the hell out of it. Uh, maxed it out. Um, got almost every gun gold, which took me a really long time. I know I pretty much no life that game, um, but I enjoyed it. It was fun to play. It was really competitive. Um, domination was my game in that game. Um, it was just it, there wasn't a game where I could where I could not get a uh, a Blackbird. Um, but for Black Ops 2. Um, my wish list is uh, the game or the guns need to be a little bit more balanced, um, so you don't have people just running around for mosses for all 15 prestiges. So that's really boring to watch uh, or to play against, not to watch. Um, it's kind of boring to watch too. Um, I would like them to take out support kill streaks and not put them in there like they did in Modern Warfare 3, because those are kind of annoying when someone just runs around and goes. 18 and 30 and gets a EMP and takes out your 15 kill streak Osprey Gunner. Uh, that's really annoying. Um, but I kind of hope they have some camos. I didn't see any in the uh, in the um, the GamesCon gameplay, um, which kind of sucked. So I kind of hope there's there. I also heard there's no pro perks, um, which is kind of weird. But so we're kind of going back to like COD 4 style, which is fine with me because I love that game. That game is one of my favorites too. Um, but I hope they don't do that because it's kind of fun going for the pro perks and gives you something to do when you get stuck at a prestige or when you want to stay there. It gives you some longevity to the gameplay instead of prestiging over and over again. The um, other thing I hope they don't bring back from uh, from Monofer 3 is the death streaks. Uh, Black Ops, they didn't have them at all. They didn't have any death streaks, which is why I think the game was better because you didn't have people who went 0 and 50 and you get killed by their dead man's hand on like a 12 kill streak. Which is really annoying in this game because there's many of times where I'm on 22 kill streak, about to get my Moab, and some guy blows me up with Dead Man's Hand. That's actually happened uh, a couple days ago. Um, the other thing is I hope the matchmaking is a lot more balanced. Like the I heard they're doing that skill um, skill matchmaking where it pairs you up uh, through people that are your same skill level. Um, the other thing that's going to be kind of interesting is how they get to do that. How are they going to like make your, your skill base like what are they gonna base it on your KD or your win loss like in Halo Halo they have it in win loss um, the other thing is uh, the grenades um, in Modern Warfare 3 the grenades absolutely suck you could have a grenade a frag grenade roll right next to you and it would explode in your face and you'd survive it because I've had that happen to me multiple times where this guy has thrown a grenade at me and I'm hiding from it and it explodes when it's right next to me and it doesn't kill me I'm pretty sure that pisses other people off, unlike me. Um, I particularly don't use grenades for some reason. Uh, it's just something I forget about whenever I'm playing the game. I don't know why. The other thing I hope they do not bring back at all is Ghost. That uh, that perk has killed me multiple times because some kid is just camping in a corner with Ghost and just sitting there like a bush wookie laying down in a corner. Um, I hope that the rumors are true that Ghost... Um, will only work if you're moving around. I don't know if that means you have to run to make it work or to walk. I'm kind of assuming it's gonna you're gonna have to walk in order for it to work, which will help somewhat eliminate um, campers. But at the same time, you know, there's probably gonna be some person who knows a glitch where you don't have to move anymore. It'll just show up all the time. I hope I hope that in in Black Ops or Black Ops 2 that it's like Black Ops where there was no hackers really. There was that one little hack in the beginning of the game. I forgot what it was about. I think it was. You could prestige in the in the in the in the combat training, which isn't really much of a hack because it doesn't matter. It's just combat training. I also hope they do not murder the um, 
the sniper rifles. The sniper rifles are were horrible when Black Ops first came out. Like you couldn't even you had to literally take 30 seconds out of your time just to aim down the sights because it took forever for it to come back from idle sway, which was really annoying. I hope that they buff it, not that much. I think that Modern Warfare 3 was a little bit harder, not much of a difficulty to quickscope. But I hope it is a little bit harder than that, because I myself, I enjoy quickscoping, having fun and messing around. Because um, it's a nice, nice, nice uh, different gameplay from running around with shotguns or assault rifles or some machine guns. Because it, it doesn't, I don't know, there's a big debate on whether it takes skill or not. Um, I think it's a mix of both, like it's a mix of the game, the game's aim assist and your skill as a person to aim towards that, towards that enemy with your crosshairs. I, hope, I really hope that they don't murder those because those are fun to use when you're bored. The last thing I want to talk about is the the killstreak system. Um, I heard there's a new point system where if you kill someone you get so much points or if you get an assist you get points towards your killstreak. You shoot down a... I heard it's... I heard from one of his tweets, I don't know if it's sure. I might have just made that up, I don't know. But that if you shoot down a UAV they might be giving you points for that. Um, but that's about it. Uh, the... That point system, I hope it works out in our favor for the people that actually are good at the game, not necessarily like beast. But it'll be nice because it'll force people to play the objective because you get points for you get points towards your kill streak for playing the objective, which is always helpful because I play domination all the time. That's the one game when I play, and I hate it when people just sit in a corner and camp the flag so that if you try to go camp ca or capture it. You have to you have to find the other guy that's camping the flag somewhere in the area of the flag, which really sucks and it kind of slows down the gameplay because you're looking for the other guy that's camping the flag after you died already once by him. But I hope they fix that. That'll be really nice. Um, that pretty much wraps it up for my wish list for the Black Ops 2 that's coming out in about a month. Uh, let me know what you guys think, uh, what you guys would like in Black Ops 2 down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down in the comment section. Please give it a like and enjoy your weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching.